Good morning, everyone. I'm Miss Connie from the Lebanon Public Library. Thank you for joining me for a story. Are you ready to help me wake the book bunny up? All right, let's say those words together. Here we go. Book bunny, book bunny. It's time for story time to begin. Well, hello, book bunny. Can you give everybody a wave? Can you wave back to the book bunny? All right, well, let's set the book bunny aside and let's see what's inside our mystery box today. So before we begin, if you hear some crunching sound, it's just my assistant, Winston. He's chewing on a snack this morning, so he might be making a little bit of crunching sound that you might hear in the background. All right, let's see what's in the mystery box. Mystery box, mystery box. What's inside the mystery box? Mystery box, mystery box. What's inside the mystery box? All right, let's look inside the mystery box today and we will get a clue about what our story is about. So let's lift the lid off. Inside, there is something that's shaped kind of like an oval and it usually will crack open and something will hatch out of it. Did you think it could be an egg? You're correct. It's a green egg. Let's see if anything comes out. Oh, not yet. But in our story today, we're going to hear about a creature that hatches out of an egg. And our story today is called Who Am I? Let's see what we have. Oh, we see lots of beautiful, colorful creatures on the end paper. And here's our title page, Who Am I? It's asking us a question. <clears throat> One hot, hot day in the middle of the deep, deep jungle, a strange little creature hatched out of an egg. He scratched and he yawned and he opened his big round eyes and looked around him. Who am I? He asked himself. Where do I come from? Off he went, plodding through the tall, tall grass to find out. Soon he met a creature with a very long neck. Excuse me, said the strange little creature chirpily. Could you tell me who I am and where I come from? I have no idea, chuckled the creature. I know that I am the giraffe and I am the tallest animal in the whole wide world, but I do not know what sort of creature you are. So the strange little creature plodded off through the tall, tall grass. Now I want you to watch the strange little creature because he will take on the colors of the animal that he meets. Look at him right there. He looks like a, he has giraffe on him. Soon, he met a creature with a long nose. Excuse me, said the strange little creature cheerily. Could you tell me who I am and where I come from? I have no idea, trumpeted the creature. I know that I am the elephant and I am the strongest animal in the whole wide world. But I do not know what sort of creature you are. So the strange little creature plodded on through the tall grass. Soon he met a creature with very long legs. Excuse me, said the strange little creature shyly. Could you tell me who I am and, and where I come from? I have no idea, snarled the creature. I know that I am the cheetah and I am the fastest animal in the whole wide world but I do not know what sort of creature you are. So the strange little creature plodded on through the tall grass. Soon he met a creature with a sharp pointed horn. Excuse me, said the strange little creature anxiously. Could, could you tell me who I am and where I come from? I have no idea, snorted the creature. I know that I am the rhinoceros and I am the toughest 
animal in the whole wide world, but I do not know what sort of creature you are. So the strange little creature plodded on through the tall grass. Soon he met a creature with a very hairy body. Excuse me, said the strange little creature timidly. Could you tell me who I am and where I come from? I have no idea, shouted the creature. I know that I am the chimpanzee, and I am the cleverest animal in the whole wide world, but I do not know what sort of creature you are. So the strange little creature plodded on through the tall grass. Soon he came to a deep, dark, muddy river, and there, resting on the bank, was a creature with great yellow eyes and a wide smiling mouth. Excuse me, said the strange little creature desperately. Could you tell me who I am and where I come from? Yes, I can, snapped the creature. You can, exclaimed the strange little creature. I can, but you will have to come a little closer, whispered the creature smiling and opening wide his jaws. Climb on my nose and I will tell you. So the strange little creature plodded closer and closer and closer. And just as he was about to climb onto the crocodile's nose, he heard a voice behind him. There you are. He turned to see a creature just like him, but much, much bigger. Who are you? asked the strange little creature. I'm your mother, said the big strange creature, and you're my little baby chameleon, the most beautiful and unusual creature in the whole wide world. I've been wandering around the jungle wondering where you were. Now come along and meet your brothers and sisters. Look at them. They're all different colors. And he changed the stripes of all of his brothers and sisters to match. I love that story. Chameleons do change when they get in certain environments. Thank you for joining me for Who Am I? I'll see you the next time. Bye.